Cruise. Now, a lot of you uh, will think it's something else because you've watched that movie with um, Leonardo DiCaprio there and, and you think it is going to be, the ship's going to hit and we're going to tip up. None of that's ever going to happen. The most dangerous thing on our ships, of course, are the suction toilets. Now, they are controlled a little bit these days, but for any of you who sailed back in uh, maybe 10 years ago, when we brought out what was then the world's largest cruise ship, the Carnival Destiny, at 100,000 tons, um, things were a little different. That was the first time we put one of those power vacuum toilet systems on our ships. And we have a story that involves a couple from Lubbock, Texas, who will never forget their experience. Now, this ship was uh, two weeks old, and there we were. Uh, we were sailing uh, on our second inaugural cruise, and this couple and I and many of the crew members on board will never forget this story. So here we have a couple from Lubbock, Texas, the first day at sea, into the sun they go, put on the suntan oil and relax and have a good time. Well, after a few moments, the lady gets the call of nature. So she takes a stroll down to the cabin, she sits down and does what she has to do. Before she did that though, she'd taken into the bathroom that ports of call book that we put in there, in the cabins there, took the book, sat down, and is so enthralled in reading all this information, she decides not to stand up before she flushed. She just reached behind her and pressed the button. Now, the toilets were brand new. The suction extra strong. Coupled with the fact that her bottom is covered in slippery Hawaiian suntan oil, the two formed some sort of a, a vacuum, and she slipped down inside the toilet, her cheeks are wet in there, she cannot move. One hour, this is actually one hour later, her husband wakes up from his nap in the sun trying to find it. Where is she? So he takes a stroll down to his cabin, sees his wife stuck in there, tries to pull her out, he can't budge her. Now at this point, if this was you or me, we would pick up the phone, call 911 and ask for help. This man, again, I can only emphasize again, absolutely true, did not pick up the phone and call the emergency number. He took a stroll from deck eight all the way forward, took an elevator down to the lobby and stood in line at the guest services desk. <laughs> <laughs> so he stands in line, he tell, eventually tells the person there, the person thinks he's joking, he, she realises he's not, and she did the right thing, she thinks it's an emergency, so she called me. Now, we have an emergency. Well, my job really is just to press the PA button. If you're ever on a carnival ship and you hear the word Bright Star, that is our emergency respond code for a team of people to get together. So she tells me what's happened. I think that's absolutely time for Bright Star. So I page Bright Star and I tell everybody, the, the, the team, the cabin number, and that puts into operation this. I say Bright Star. So running now towards the cabin is the doctor, two nurses, the joiner, the carpenter, the plumber, the chief security, two security guards, the staff captain, the hotel director, and me. Now, her husband realizes that 12 strange men are on their way, realizing that his wife is gonna be sitting on the toilet and we would, she would be embarrassed. He ran ahead of us. Now, being from Texas, he brought a cowboy hat with him. So he took his cowboy hat and put it across his wife's embarrassment. In we walk, in we walk. We all go, arrive, we get into the cabin, I'm there, hotel director, chief engineer, we're all there, and ahead of us <laughs> is little Luigi, the five foot nothing Italian plumber. <laughs> this guy is a legend across the fleet, still with us after 30 years. He comes into the bathroom, <laughs> looks at the lady, turns to the husband and says, ah, you'll see here. I can say to your wife, the cowboy is a dead man. <laughs> Spirits. And of course, she, they gave me full permission to talk about this because they were such a great couple. Eventually what happened, they couldn't get her out and she's still there now. Uh, no, they couldn't get her out 
And what we have to do is break the back of the, the toilet uh, seat there and uh, lead the lady into the bedroom section of her cabin with the seat still attached. We've all left, it's the nurses and the doctors, she's bent over the bed, the toilet seat is here, trying to slide it off, the nurses have got the cream and everything. The husband is absolutely brilliant, turns to the doctor, and it is the doctor who's on board this ship with us now, so you can verify this story. The husband looks at the lady, his wife, she's got the toilet seat, they're trying to slide it off, he says to the doctor, well doctor, I bet you've seen lots of those, and the doctor says, yes I have, but I've never seen one in a frame. Now, Things like that can only happen on a cruise ship. And uh, it is uh, one of the stories that I can tell you. There are so much that goes on behind the scenes that I can't tell you. Luckily, I, I am. I have this little blog thing. So if you want to find out all the, the good and the bad stuff that goes on behind the scenes, I'll put the address in the paper today. So with that in mind, uh, I'm going to give you the information on how to get off the ship tomorrow. Again, 